Healthcare professionals and life activists are rallying against anti-conscience legislation now being considered in the Illinois House. My name is Dr. Lena Callentine, and I oppose Illinois Senate Bill 1564, and I urge you to contact your state representative to vote no on this dangerous bill. Dr. Callentine is a pediatrician who volunteers at a Christian medical clinic in a southwest suburb. She and other members of the Christian Medical and Dental Association contend that State Senate Bill 1564 would force pro-life health care workers to promote abortion. You're asking me to act against what I believe in and asking me to refer a patient for something I don't even condone. I think this is bad medicine. I think this is bad for our patients. And Dan McConkey with Americans United for Life says the legislation backed by the ACLU would gut conscience protections in Illinois law. Illinois has one of the strongest conscience protections law for health care providers in the country. It is the gold standard uh, that you know states, other states look to. It has long been a goal of the ACLU to undermine this piece of legislation because they don't like pro-life pregnancy centers, pro-life doctors not referring for abortions. Abortion is really the ACLU's agenda, and they're using this to really try to co-opt the health care establishment in order to have them work on their agenda for them. So essentially, this is a pro-abortion bill. Absolutely it is. Supporters of Senate Bill 1564 imply that the measure seeks to mandate disclosure to prevent patients from being blindsided by health providers who refuse to, among other things, commit abortions, elective sterilizations, and certain end-of-life measures. But Mr. McConkie tells IllinoisFamily.org the transparency argument is very misleading, and the bill creates new requirements for health care providers. Under this law, every provider has to have uh, a written protocol. So what this does is it would enable a government employee to come in and say, well, where's your written protocol? And if it's not uh, there or maybe not written in a way that that they believe comports with the law, they could be fined or or other penalties come against them. Perhaps even their license is at stake. So this is not just an attack on them, but it's also an expansion of government control. Even pro-life crisis pregnancy resource centers would not be immune from Senate Bill 1564. While they could continue to offer pregnancy testing, prenatal care, and ultrasounds, they would be forced to discuss the so called benefits of abortion and provide information on where to obtain abortions. This is something that would really be handing a tool to enemies of life, the enemies of pregnancy centers and the positive work that they do for life and enable them uh, to come in and dramatically change the way they do business or shut them down completely. And Dr. Callentine predicts that if Senate Bill 1564 becomes law, it will be a big barrier to practicing effective medicine in Illinois. The whole process of practicing medicine has to do with our our philosophical beliefs and our religious beliefs. And to act against that would no longer be able to practice medicine the way that Um, we were trained, or what we spiritually believe is true. The measure was approved in the state Senate, and now Senate Bill 1564 awaits action in the Illinois House. People need to contact their own representative. They need to tell them that uh, Senate Bill 1564 is something that they should not be supporting. Uh, They also need to be reaching out to the churches. Unfortunately, uh, there are some aspects of the Catholic Church that are currently neutral on this bill instead of opposing it like we really wish that they would. Uh, So this is something that we're going to need everybody involved with in order to try to stop this. The the legislators need to understand that the people want to have a freedom of choice to be able to go and choose a pro-life doctor, to be able to go uh, to a provider that doesn't do or refer for abortions uh, to be able to get their health care from. The the people of the state really deserve to be able to choose the provider they want to have. Contact your state representative. The Capitol switchboard number is 217-782-2000. For IllinoisFamily.org, I'm Monty Larrick.